Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing the brand new fragrance from Zoologist. I don't think it's even released yet. It's called Harvest Mouse and apparently it's a gourmand. So Victor Wong got in touch with me the other day and said, would I like to receive a bottle of Harvest Mouse? And I bit his arm off, of course I did. So here it is in the box. We're gonna get into it and shipping from Canada is so quick. I remember the last time Victor sent me something and it literally took a few days and you think how far that's come. It's quite amazing. So yeah, I only took a few days and I didn't expect it to be this quick and it arrived today completely unexpectedly and I was very excited. So I had to film, I had to film try not to cut my fingers off I'm on night shifts at the moment and oh, why am I wearing a hat is because it's because I couldn't be bothered to um, wash my hair my hair's a mess it's shocking and well I'm working from home so no one's gonna see me anyway and yeah I can't get into this box <laughs> okay I think we are there so, beautifully packaged. I love this paper from Zoologist. Look at this. Let's get it out. This paper is just so nice with all the artwork all over it. Really lovely. So we will try not to rip it and then I can reuse it. I, I do save the zoologist paper or any really nice paper if I can to resend things to people. So I've opened it up. I'll just have a look here. We have a note here uh, from Victor. Dear Claire, wishing you a happy and fragrant new year. All the best, Victor Zoologist. And it's on that squid note paper. Love that. Oh, this box is, I didn't know it was gonna come in a box like this. I love that. That is so cute. So, oh yeah, it says Harvest Mouse on the side. I don't know if he's done different boxes. Sometimes he does special edition boxes. I honestly know nothing. I know nothing. Let's take it out of the cellophane and you can see how beautiful that is. So it's an extract to parfum. And this is a sleeve by the looks of it. So we take off the sleeve and we have this uh, light brown beigey box. On the box it says Harvest Mouse, it's got a batch number as well. I think it's gonna, there we are. So it's got Zoologist on the front, very, very classy. Classy but minimalist, the, the main box. Obviously the, the sleeve is not minimalist. The sleeve is beautiful though, I love it. Okay, so the lid comes off entirely. And, oh look. So let's, get him out and do you know what is quite serendipitous that I'm wearing this hat because I was not thinking anything about what the mouse looked like I just wanted to cover up my hair but me and the mouse happened to be wearing similar hats which is quite funny so the juice is yellow this uh, lever, lever like bit on the lid is uh, light beigey brown again like the box is and yeah you can see that is stunningly stunningly beautiful so let's have a look and see I don't think there's oh, oh hang on a minute hang on a minute this flaps open because normally the uh, box has the notes on it and I think it does here yes it does so that is inside the sleeve I 
So I'm going to read you the notes. Perfumer is Luca Maffei. The notes are bergamot, Roman chamomile, orange blossom and cloves. Heart notes of Divana, hay absolute, benzoin, apopanax, rose absolute and beer extract CO2. So we have a real beer in here. Base notes of fir, balsam, obviously smells like trees, <laughs> I think, or tree sap. Oak moss, cedar wood, sandalwood, peru balsam and vanilla. I won't read you the whole harvest mouse story. I will copy and paste it into the description and I will obviously post Victor's website as well so you can go and have a look at it on the website and I think really what we need to do right now is get into the smell. So I'm going to go straight onto the skin. I am just out of the shower. Just make sure that there's nothing left on my skin. Sometimes the shower doesn't remove all traces of perfume so I want to be sure there's no body lotion, there's nothing. I'm completely clean. So let's go straight onto skin. Good sprayer. You can see you can control how much comes out. In the air, I'm really liking this. I smell vanilla straight away. Oh yeah. It's, it is definitely hay-like, soft hay-like vanilla. Oh, it's so pretty. This is lovely. This is gentle. If you think of a, a, a gentle mouse, <laughs> it's like a gentleman mouse, a gentle gentleman mouse, just scurrying about doing his business. It's reminding me a little bit, now it absolutely is not going to smell the same as, but I got to smell an old version, a vintage version of Byzance from Russia when I went to visit Sarah McCartney uh, quite a while ago now in her studio and I loved it and that was very uh, sweet hay vanilla to me anyway. Um, let's have a look at the notes again because I'm not picking up a lot here. So um, we've got chamomile. Now when I smell, now I've smelt raw, I'm not raw, I've smelt essential oil chamomile and I, I didn't really like it. I had some, I, I, I many years ago I did a basic aromatherapy course and I had chamomile and I, I didn't particularly enjoy it. And I've smelt chamomile in Gucci uh, uh, memoir odor or odor memoir their green bottle and I didn't like it in there and generally speaking I don't love chamomile in fragrances and it's quite a rare note to put in a fragrance but it's however it's done in here it's not overtaking anything chamomile is actually quite strong even though it's a soothing ingredient it's actually quite I find it quite a strong smell just generally like geranium it can take over everything and I think in here is very gentle and it's really pretty I don't think I pick up on any citrus notes so there's bergamot in here I don't really pick up on it I definitely do pick up on a vanillic smell but it is like a vanillic hay really smooth really soft really subtle almost like play-doh but not not going that far not that sweet not that synthetic i don't pick up on the clove either which to me is a good thing clove can also overtake things and i know it can remind some people of the dentist it doesn't do that to me but i generally prefer a clove note to be quite subtle I think mostly what I'm getting is a vanillic hay, but obviously it's much more complex than that, but that's the only way I know how to describe it. Do I smell beer? Not specifically. Does it smell hoppy or wheaty or anything? I don't think so. Or maybe there's just a, a merest hint of a cereal-like note. 
very vanillic, I would say. Vanilla's for me at the moment the most the most um, noticeable note. Peru balsam is obviously a very sweet uh, balsam. I think it's I think it comes from wood resin. I think it's a resin or, or something. Anyway, it's, it's sweet and that's probably adding to this vanilla note. Yeah, I don't pick up on the rose. And Divana, I think, is supposed to smell fruity. I don't think I get that either. I don't think I get fruitiness. I just get the softest, most beautiful vanillic hay at the moment. Oh, what's it reminding me of? It's reminding me of a, fr of a fragrance now. A really nice vanilla fragrance. I'm thinking of maybe a Galan. It's not spirit cheese double vanille. It doesn't have it doesn't have a booziness to me, even though it has a beer note. But spirit cheese double vanille has more of a a liqueur or a uh, I'm not sure if it's a, a whiskey or you know a strong liquor note. Oh, this is lovely. Honestly, thank you so much, Victor. This is beautiful. It smells beautifully simple at the moment, despite these really unusual notes. I couldn't pick out anything except the vanilla and the hay. There's orange blossom and rose. I think... I would say there's a hint of floral here. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That's that most glorious vanilla. Like what vanilla is this? I have to know. I don't think this is just vanillin. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Oh, I'm getting a little hint of smoke now. A sweet smoke, very gentle. It's starting to smell a little bit like incense. Oh. Oh my. I love the smell of incense and I love the smell of unlit incense. And this, although... It's got a gentle smoke, but it also smells a bit of unlit incense. And it's beautiful. I really love the smell of um, the Papier d'Armini, which is those papers that you light and they burn and it, they're coated in benzoin and they, they smell gorgeous. Uh, just, it's a sweet resin benzoin. And I think that's what is now giving me incensey, incensey vibes but very gentle. This is not, um, this is not an amouage incense fragrance. This is really, it's, it's, it's very much vanillic. It's quite sweet. It's not syrupy sweet though, and it's not synthetically sweet. I don't smell sugar. I don't smell the typical, um, like you have in Baccarat Rouge, that Eiffel Malto candy floss sweet, nothing like that. It smells like sweetness is coming from proper ingredients yeah this is really developing now i think certain things are coming through i would be i've got to be honest i really am struggling to explain this perfume i don't pick up on a lot of the notes i feel like they're whatever's in here is is playing out and blending and doing magical and mystical things on my skin but uh i honestly i cannot describe this and do it justice using those notes because to me there's a lot here i, I just can't pick up on everything's just gently shifting and moving now and it is beautiful really and truly I would 100% buy this with my own money at full retail. This, at this stage 
obviously it might change something could crop up that i don't enjoy but at the moment i would 100 percent buy this because it is a beautiful it's a vanillic resin i think vanillic resin incense type fragrance at the moment to me now a lot of people might not get that because it's harvest mouse and it's it's supposed to be getting the beer and and those florals and oak moss obviously won't expect that to come out just yet there's woods there's cedarwood sandalwood everything's just so beautifully blended and it's so unusual even though it sounds simple the way i'm describing it i really do get the most stunning vanilla it doesn't smell like a typical really sweet vanilla and maybe it's those added spices the clove it's just playing it all up and making it so interesting it's very fluffy and airy so it's not a heavy amber scent albeit the notes you could say could be ambery because you've got resins and vanilla and basically resins and vanilla makeup and amber perfume but to me it's not a heavy amber scent it's a soft fluffy airy light beautiful vanilla resins with all these other things that make it really interesting but are for me impossible to pick out but yeah there, there's a little heat in here which is possibly coming from the clove and it does err uh, on the play-doh it does err uh, towards those uh, school erasers that had that sort of um, sweet fruity vanilla scents but it's nowhere near close it just errs in that direction but it smells refined and sophisticated i think this would be a huge compliment getter i think this vanilla accord this vanilla resin thing is so attractive is so beautiful it is not juvenile at all it's really really good if I was to try and put it in a ballpark of other fragrances, there was a fragrance I used to have called Sublime Vanille from, what were they called? I forgot the name of the brand, but it was called Sublime Vanille and it was by Cecile Zarokian. The fragrance was amazing. That It was one of the best vanillas I'd ever smelled and this is now right up there with that. This is better than Spiritus Duple Vanille. I really, really like this. I've waffled on for 20 minutes and we've really not said very much, have we? So I do apologize that this has taken so long to explain. I will be coming back. I'm gonna try and get to know this perfume and I will definitely be coming back with a full review. But for now, it's getting both of my thumbs stuck up in the air. And a huge thank you to Victor for sending it to me. I am really privileged and honoured that you trusted me and sent this to me. And it's a huge love. So thank you, Victor. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.